Hello everyone, it's your lovely Abby Dagren, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, lovelies. Today I'll be doing a video on a natal chart reading slash analysis, and it will be on Zendaya. I'll be speaking about her characteristic traits, her personality traits, and also how a lot of the placements in her chart has led to a lot of the fame she's had and other things that are important. So please stay tuned for the rest of my video. If you have not yet become a part of the Abby Dagren family, then this is your calling to do so. Please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily. Also hit that like button because I know you guys will love this video. Also share this video with all your friends, your enemies, or anyone you know who loves Zendaya, or anyone you know who appreciates and loves natal charts. Lastly, if you have not purchased from Gael Beauty, then this is also the time to do so. You can purchase the Roy Bose Body Butter, the Roy Bose Body Spray, as well as the Roy Bose Body Soap. All of these products are natural, they're great for your skin, they make your skin look lovely, and everything in it will not clog your skin at all. Everything in the products are great for the environment, so please purchase your bottles today. Now let's get right into the video, lovelies. Zendaya was born on September 1st, 1996, and this qualifies her to be a Virgo. With this placement, she's very diligent, very industrious, very caring, and organized with incredible intuition. So she's such a diligent person from a young age. She's always been working, and that also goes on to her being industrious. She's always making sure that she's working from a young age because that showed that regardless of where she was, she wanted to make sure that she was in a place that is the greatest of greatest. She's a very caring person and she always tries her best to do what's right. She's also a very organized person and this is a placement that really deals with earth signs. So she is very organized and she does have a great intuition as well. Next up is her moon in Taurus. With this placement, she is very rigid. She's very sentimental and has a desire for beautiful things. A moon in Taurus or a moon in Cancer are actually one of the best placements you can have in the moon. That's where the moon is exalted. So her being down to earth and downright makes sense because it's an earth sign placement and moon. And she does have a desire for beautiful things. That's a common trait with any Taurus placement because Taurus loves beautiful things. They love to have things that are nice and sentimental and they just love that. And for her to have this placement in Taurus, that means that she's able to talk about her emotions and how she feels and she's also a calm person because with this placement people with this placement have a very calm persona next up is her mercury and libra with this placement she has a gift of being an effective orator of all the zodiac signs so when someone has a mercury and libra they're great at saying things and that's how people listen to them a lot because they love the way they speak they love the fact that they're able to speak in a way that other people can understand and other people can feel comfortable with that is a very good placement with mercury because the people tend to be harmonious when they speak they're verbally eloquent they're gentle and diplomatic However, at times she can be very indecisive. She can be assertive but not harsh. She has a certain eloquence about her. She's legal minded and she can see all sides of an issue. Next up is her Venus in Cancer and with this placement, she's quite sensitive when it comes to dealing with love and relationships. She wants to know or let the person who she's with know that she truly loves them and she truly wants to be around them. And also she's very caring, comforting, protective, empathetic, and sometimes she could be parental with 
the spouse or the person who she's with because she wants to make sure they're fine. She's going to nurture them, be protective of them, and be very caring. She wants to be committed and predictable in her relationships, and she may be sensitive and crave security, comfort, and love. She shows love by taking care of her partner's needs. She pays more attention to partner's feelings than their words, and she's creative and big-hearted. So these are what she does when she's in a relationship. Next up is her Mars and Cancer. With this placement, she's very persistent and will try to mold the situation to suit their or her emotional needs. So she's going to be persistent in anything that she does. And this is great because persistence is what lets you become who you want to be. Making sure that you never give up, work every day towards a goal is very important because without that, it's hard for you to accomplish your goals. And she's going to make sure that the situation suits her own emotional needs because regardless of her climbing the ladder, she wants to make sure that she's able to be emotionally great and good because cancer is an emotional sign and empathetic sign so that's something that they need in order for them to be stable is their emotions to be in check so this is a great placement next up is her jupiter and capricorn and with this placement she gains wisdom and experience to add to her true methods so that's the way she will gain wealth is by gaining wisdom and experience and having Capricorn in any placement is always going to be great with experience because Capricorns do go through a lot. So she's able to have that. She's going to have dedication and discretion with that experience as well because she's going to know what's right for her and what's wrong for her with the experience and other people's experiences as well. And the dedication is always going to be there. She's going to make sure she works as hard as she needs to in order to accomplish those goals. And the dedication is something that is important for her. That's how she's going to gain her good fortune by having integrity, being ethical, and mature. Next up is her Saturn and Aries. And with this placement, she tends to be more rational and thoughtful, and this can be used to her advantage. With these characteristic traits of being rational, she's able to look at things in a rational way, and with that, she's able to make her decisions in a rational way. Also, she's thoughtful, so not only will she make decisions that are great for her, but for others as well. And with these two traits, she can use that to her advantage because they can really help her. Because at times she may have obstacles like having setbacks that are prominent early in life, but they decrease as she gets older. Her strength is having ambition and willpower to get through anything. And this is something that she's going to have, which is diligence and modesty because they're going to help her accomplish her goals. Next up is her Uranus in Aquarius. With this placement, she likes to take up social causes and find ways of solving a complex issue such as poverty or injustice. With this placement, she wants to make sure that she is a reformer. And this is easy with any placement of Aquarius because Aquariuses are reformers at heart. That's just who they are to their core. So she's going to try her best to make a positive change that will benefit society as a whole. And she's the type of person that would be willing to devote her time and energy to see that things come about in her generation. And she wants to make sure that things not only last for her generations, but also for generations to come as well. So I think that she really does accomplish this in the best way because she does speak on issues that some may think is not necessary to talk about however she does so she does have that placement down packed next up is her neptune and capricorn with this placement she tends to focus on ways to increase her power wealth and influence 
And this placement really does show a lot about her because she's the type of person that works very hard, like I said at the beginning. She was working from a very young age, so she's always been working. Working is something that she loves to do. And she loves to idealize work, practicality, and the ability to attain reasonable goals. So she'll put up goals, she's goal oriented, and she's gonna make sure that she attains those goals. But sometimes she also stresses a lot and needs to be selfless and giving. And she may find it difficult to attain the goals unless she's lowered her expectations on all fronts. So her having expectations and goals, it's good. Just having those goals is very important. And also knowing that she can accomplish them is another good thing. Next up is her Pluto and Sagittarius, and with this placement, she qualifies 100% for it because she was born between 1995 and 2008, so she is Generation Z. With this placement, she's always on the search to add to wealth of knowledge and for her own enjoyment. So being a part of Generation Z means freedom, experimenting, and exploring and risk are something that this generation loves to do. They love to talk about issues that probably other generations did not really care for or really elaborate on. And they always want to learn new things so they're able to be respectful to anyone they come across. And they want to make sure that everyone around them feels great and everyone around them feels comfortable. So this is something that is destined with this placement for her. Next up is her North Node in Libra and with this placement she will need to develop these attributes to find her hidden gifts and talents. The first would be cooperation, diplomacy and tact, increasing awareness of others needs, selflessness, supporting others without expecting anything in return, creating win-win situations, sharing and seeing things through other people's eyes, and communicating self-identity. Also, her mission would be to listen to people around her. Also, putting her energy into building relationships that will last. Identifying with the diplomat within. Creating beauty and harmony in her environment. And also surrounding herself with people who will support her new balance relation look. So these are the things that she will need to develop in order for her to find her gifts and talents. Next up is her Chiron in Libra. And with this placement, she is the relationship healer. So she wants to make sure that everyone around her is good. And she wants to make sure that she sees stuff from different points of view she loves to mediate and she loves to meet people halfway and the wisdom that she has she's able to heal people's relationships with however this comes from maybe when she was younger there were relationships that were broken and they sadly could not be fixed because either the other person didn't want to be fixed or you were giving too much into other relationships and those people didn't reciprocate that back to you. So you wanted to eliminate drama, but that never happened. So your wound is sometimes not having relationships that can be healed. But because of this, you are able to help other people. Next up is her Aquarius Ascendant slash Rising. And with this placement, she likes to be unique or different. She may be a highly sought after individual for advice. She's typically curious as well as well educated. She's usually a humanitarian, idealistic, tolerant, and impartial. She needs freedom to expand her restlessness. She's likable and friendly. She may at times be aloof and detached, but also kind and caring. She's unaffected by status, wealth, or power. She may be interested in music, design, science, or things that deal with social issues, and at times it could be difficult to shock for her. 
she is also a very kind person and she loves to see the good in others and having an Aries rising is actually a pretty unique placement because the Aries rising is a rare placement to have. Last but not least is her Scorpio Midheaven. With this placement, she knows what she wants and how to get it, but she can go far and exhaust herself to get these goals. And she loves to understand and accept the darker side of life. She may also have an innate desire to find the answer to life's deep and dark mysteries. And she does her best under leadership to prefer not to be under anyone's thumb. She wants to make sure that not only is she treated equally, but sometimes even be the leader in the position. She's also a very highly motivated and she's fearless. In any career that she goes into, she understands that she gets to decide what she wants to be in life and what she wants to do in life, and that no one will have her back more than she will have her own back. So with this placement, it explains a lot of her success. That's all I have for you lovelies today in regards to Zendaya's natal chart. Please let me know down below how you felt about it. Did you learn anything new about Zendaya? Also, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily. Also, hit that like button because I know you guys love this video. Please share this video with all your friends, family members, enemies, neighbors, or anyone in general. And if you have not yet followed me on my social media accounts, then this is the time to do so. If I'm not uploading on the YouTube, then I am uploading on my other accounts, so please follow me, share, and like. I love you all. Please also purchase from my SC store, and you guys can support me monetarily through PayPal. I love you all. Please stay safe and healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, lovelies.